Hello my dear students today we will learn about prime factorization and factor dream Many students get confused about this concept prime factorization Many students even don't know the exact meaning of prime factorization as well as how to find the prime factorization of any given number Here I am going to explain you about prime factorization as well as how to find prime factorization of any given number. So let's start. To understand the concept of prime factorization, let's split the prime factorization as prime numbers and factorization. Here to understand prime factorization, first we must know about prime numbers and factorization. Okay, uh, if you don't know anything about prime numbers, you can go uh, one of my video. In that, I have explained uh, about prime numbers uh, in detail. Okay, the uh, link is there in the description. Um, here, I'll give you a brief definition of prime numbers. That is, numbers having only two factors, one and that number itself. those numbers are called as prime numbers to understand prime numbers first you must know about factors and on factors also i have made one video you can go through that okay the link is there in the description okay so the numbers which will have only two factors that is one and that number itself such numbers are called as prime numbers and factorization means representation of number in terms of product of other numbers means let's take an example of 16 we can represent 16 as 8 to the 16 means the product of 8 into uh, 8 and 2 gives us the answer as 16 as well as we can express it as 4 4 to the 16 such representation of number in the, is called as factorization okay now you know about prime numbers and factorization when you combine both these concepts you will get prime factorization okay so prime factorization of any number means to represent that number as a product of prime numbers just now i told you that factorization means uh, if we represent any number as a product of other numbers then that is called as factorization but if we represent that number as a product of prime numbers then those uh, that representation is called as prime factorization okay let's take an example here uh, here i am taking the number 24 a 24 can be represented as 6 4s are 24 right but here 6 and 4 both these numbers are composite numbers so this representation we can't say as prime factorization but if we split this 6 as 3 2s are 6 and 4 we can split as 2 2s are 4 then the representation will become as 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 now here all the numbers are prime numbers right so this representation of 24 is called as prime factorization of 24 i think you all have understood about prime factorization if you have any doubt regarding this you can ask me in the comment box okay now we will move to the next concept that is factor tree now if you look at this uh, name factor tree you will get an image in front of your eye that is about tree right and if you look at the tree you will see many branches for those for that tree right so uh, our factor tree also will have some branches so that is, because of that uh, the name is given as factor tree okay now let's understand how to find the factor tree for 30 so here i have taken the number 30 let's build a factor tree for 30 okay so how to build first we have to write the number 30 then we have to give two branches for this 30 okay now uh, we have to write the numbers at the tip of the this branches and we have to write such numbers so that if we multiply those numbers we must get the answer as 30 okay 
so we have many ways to get 30 as 15 2 is a 30 is there 10 3 is a 30 is there 5 6 is a 30 is there so we can use any number so i'll use here 10 3 is a 30 okay now we have to check whether the numbers are prime numbers or composite here we have 10 as composite number and 3 as prime numbers. So we have to split the composite number. So here the composite number is 10. So we will again uh, give two branches for 10. Okay. Now we can uh, find the product, uh, find the numbers such that if we multiply those two numbers, then we must get the answer as 10 now. Okay. And we have two files are 10. Now we have got oh, both the numbers as prime numbers. So we have to stop here. So the prime factors of 30 are 3, 2 and 5. Okay. Now let's use the another way. Uh, because I had used here 10 3s are 30. But we have 15 2s are 30 also. So let's use that and let's check whether we, are, we will get the same answer of what. Okay. So first we have to write 30. Then we have to give two branches for that. Now we will write 15 twos are 30. Instead of writing 10 threes are 30. Okay. Now here 15 is a composite number. Right. So this 15 number we will split. So we have to give here two branches for this. Now at the tip of the branches we must write the number such that when we multiply those two numbers we must get the answer as 15. Okay. So we will use here. 3, 5 is a 15. Now 3 and 5, both the numbers are prime numbers. So we have to stop here. See here, again we got the same numbers. See here, 2, 3, 5 only is there and 2, 5, 3 is there. So the prime factorization of 30 is 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5. Okay. I think you all have understood about factor tree. Okay, now let's move to the next. Uh, now we have one more method to find prime factorization of any given number. Uh, actually, this method is often used. And this method will be useful to find the prime factorization of a bigger numbers. Okay, so I'll take here the number 236. Uh, to find prime factorization by using this method, first we have to write the number. 2, 3, 6 and before um, and in front of this number we must draw a vertical line and a horizontal line below that. Okay. Now to use this method we must know about divisibility rule of uh, prime numbers and about this I had made one, one more video about test of divisibility. You can go through that. Uh, if you uh, watch that video, then it will be easier for you to find the prime factorization by using this method. Okay. So, let's start. The link is there in the description. Okay. Now, first prime number is 2. Okay. So, as per the divisibility rule of 2, uh, it says that if the number is even, then only we can divide that number by 2. Okay. So, here we have the number which is even. So, we can divide this number by 2. So, here we have to write the number 2. Okay. And let's divide this number by 2. So, 2, the first number is 2. So, 2 ones are 2. Now, when we subtract 2 from 2, we will not get any remainder. So, move to the next number. Here the next number is 3. So, we have to divide it by 1 only. 2 ones are 2 again. But when we subtract 3 minus 2, we will get one remainder. So, that remainder we must write in front of the next number. That is 6. So, the number becomes 16. Now, we have 2 8s are 16. Okay. Now, we don't have any remainder and we don't have any next number. So, we have to stop here. Now we got a new number that is 118. Now as this is also a so even number, let's divide it by 2. Okay. Now here the first number is less than 2. So we have to check for these two numbers that is 11. Okay. As we know 2 fives are 10. 
now we uh, when we subtract 10 from 11 we will get one as remainder that one we have to write in front of 8 so this becomes 18 so as we know two nines are 18 now we don't have any remainder as well as we don't have next number so we have to stop now we have we got the number as 59 but 59 itself is a prime number so let's divide 59 by 59 59 ones are 59 now this ends okay so whichever numbers we get he this side no this is the prime factorization of 236 so the prime factorization of 236 is equal to 2 into 2 into 59 okay now on page number 61 from the textbook of CBSC board uh, NCRT mathematics of grade 6 you have these two questions uh, in that they have told us to find prime factorization of these numbers as well as we have to draw a factor tree for these two numbers so let's solve the first question is write the prime factorization of so the first number is 60 okay we will use the last method which i told you now only so let's write the first number 16 then let's draw a vertical line as well as horizontal line now as the 16 number is an even number therefore we will divide it by 2 okay 2 8s are 16 now here we got 8 which is also even so again we will divide it by 2 2 4s are 8 again we got even number so again 2 2s are 4 okay now again we got 2 so 2 1s are 2 now ends as we are finding prime factorization there is a condition that here we must use only and only prime numbers okay so the prime factorization of 16 is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 okay now let's take the next number that is 28 so let's write 28 as 28 is even number so let's divide it by 2 2 ones are 2 we won't get any remainder so directly move to the next number that is 8 2 fours are 8 okay now we got the number 14 which is also even so let's divide it by 2 2 sevens are 14 now we got the number 7 which is a even number uh, sorry which is an prime number so let's divide 7 by 7 itself 7 ones are 7 okay so the prime factorization of 28 is 2 into 2 into 7 okay now let's move to the next number that is 38 38 is an even number so let's start from 2 2 ones are 2 okay when we subtract 2 from 3 we will get a 1 as remainder so let's write that 1 in front of 8 then it becomes 18 as we know 2 9s are 18 okay now 19 itself is a prime number so let's divide 19 by 19 only 19 1s are 19 okay so the prime factorization of 38 is 2 into 19 now let's solve the second question that is try factor tree for the numbers 8 and 12 so let's take the first number that is 8 now uh, here we have to draw a factor tree so let's write that first number 8 then we will draw a two branches for that as we know 8 is equal to 2 fours are 8 so let's write here I wrote 4 to the 8. Okay. As here 4 is a composite number. So again we have to split for 4. So let's again draw 2 branches for 4. Now as we know 4 is equal to 2 to the 4. So we got all the prime numbers. Therefore 8 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2. Okay. Now let's draw factor 3 for 12. So let's write the number 12 then draw two branches for 12 as we know 6 twos are 12 so let's write we can take 4 threes are 12 also you will get the same answer only okay so here I am taking 6 twos are 12 now here 6 is a composite number so let's draw factor uh, branches for 6 now 3 twos are 6 okay 
so the fact uh, prime uh, sorry um, prime factorization for 12 is 2 into 2 into 3 okay so today we will uh, stop here only in the next uh, uh, video I'll, I'll solve exercise 3.5 so if you have any um, doubt regarding this you can ask me in the comment box uh, if you like my teaching then please like share and subscribe to my channel bye everyone